Now we're going to take a look at some exponential one-to-one -one property examples. So let's take a look at something like 5 to the 2x plus 3 is equal to 5 to the 15. Well, we can see that we have the same base. So we just have an equation to solve. 2x plus 3 equal to 15. Subtract 3 over. 2x is equal to 12 divided by 2. So x is 6. So not too bad. Um, then we want to take a look at where we actually have to change that base. So if we have 1 like 3 raised to 2x minus 3 is equal to 9, we have to change this is not the one-to-one -one property because 3 and 9 don't have the same base. But we can change 9 into something that has a base of 3. So that can be 3 squared. Now we have the same base. Now we're able to do that. So 2x minus 3 equals 2. Add 3 over. And we get 2x is equal to 5 divided by 2. x is 5 halves. That makes sense. x is 5 halves. All right, let's take a look at another one. So if I have one where I have 36 to the 2x minus 1 is equal to 6 x plus 4. I have to change 36 into something so that it's the same base as 6. I'm going to change that to 6 squared, but that means that I'm raising a power to a power. So that means that I'm going to multiply 2 times both terms, please keep in mind, it's not just the x, but the 1 as well. So now I have an equation I can solve for x minus 2 is equal to x plus 4. Subtract the x over. Add the 2. Divide by 3. So x is 2. Let's look at a couple more. So let's take a look at one like, let's see, example, let's go with four. How about four to the three x plus six is equal to one over 16. So we've got a couple options here. We can change this to have a base of four. It's probably the easiest one. Then we only have to change the one over 16. Or you could change them both to have a base of 2, but sometimes that's a little more complicated. Um, so I'm going to change this to have a base of 4. Right now I have 1 over 4 squared. To move that to the numerator, that has to become a negative 2. So uh, 4 to the 3x plus 6 is equal to 4 to the negative 2. 3x plus 6 equals negative 2. I'll add that over. So I have 3x. Sorry, I'm going to subtract it over. Minus 6 minus 6 equals negative 8 divided by 3. x equals negative 8 thirds. Don't be scared of fractions. They're pretty normal. All right, let's do one more like that. Very similar to that. All right, example 5 maybe. Okay, so... 2 to the 4x minus 6 equals 1 eighth. You need to change 8 into something with a base of 2. So 2 to the 4x minus 6 equals